What's going on guys? So I am on my way to watch Batman v Superman. Super excited. Me and my girlfriend are gonna go watch it right now, 6 p.m. showing. Um, I am walking back to my girlfriend because this dumbass forgot the SD card to put into the Osmo. So that's where I'm walking right now trying to play catch up. So you'll probably see her on screen in a second, but don't freak out. She's not really the screen type. Come on, baby cakes. Um, so yeah. Really, really excited. Um, well, the colors look awesome out here. So, uh, some of the things that I'm excited about, obviously, Batman v Superman, that whole kind of battle between the two, I'm excited to see. Um, Wonder Woman, that's actually her favorite character. So, and she's a beast anyway, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm really curious to see how Lex Luthor is actually betrayed. Um, I'm kind of going into the movie more so thinking of it as its own iteration of a comic book so I'm gonna try to judge it on its own merits versus you know the Frank Miller Dark Knight series but um, yeah pretty excited though now I have been getting a lot of people asking me what my thoughts are around uh, some of the um, dialogue that's been going online as far as you know how the movie's been received from fans uh, from critics um, I'm trying to stay away from it right now just because I want to go in with my own thoughts, uh, my own expectations. Um, but it's cool to know that there's mixed reviews of it at the moment because for myself, I can kind of you know, control my expectations on what I want the movie to be. So I know a week ago, my expectations were super high, kind of way too high. So I'm glad that you know they've kind of been challenged a little bit. But I'm a... Uh, I'm really curious. I'm curious to see if you know it, it develops a good story enough to build off of for the universe. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that DC's playing catch up, and there's a lot of things that DC uh, is is kind of doing out of order um, because in this universe we have no Batman backstory, we have no Wonder Woman backstory. Um, as far as the Justice League goes, we don't know who the Flash, you know, what his backstory is in this universe. Um, so there's a lot of unknowns right now, um, especially with you know Aquaman and what you know how he's going to be involved, Cyborg, if Green Lantern's going to be involved in Justice League. So there's a lot of unknowns at the moment, but um, I just want to see if this sets up a good foundation for this expanded universe that DC's trying to build. All right, so expectations for the movie. I think out of ten, I want it to be an eight. Um, I don't think it's going to be a 10, uh, but I think it's going to be a solid 8 good movie um, with a good amount of action, a good amount of story development. So that's that's my predictions. Bay, what's yours? Uh, I was tossing between a 7 or an 8. I'm going to go 7. 7 out of 10. Okay. So she going 7. I'm going 8. Um, but yeah, so... No 10 out of 10s here, but hopefully it'll at least meet our expectations. Hopefully. Please be good. All right. I'll see you guys after the movie. What's going on, guys? So just got out of theater. Uh, it's about 8.53. So how long is it? Two and a half hours? Let's go stop. Two and a half hours. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think first impression, I probably have to watch it again, but I think it met my expectations of eight for me. Um, there was definitely some storytelling things that could have been done better. Um, maybe just how it was cut, but um, I feel it may have been a little bit complicated to follow if you weren't really locked in. Uh, just how they jumped from certain scenes to different scenes, it was, it was cut a little strange, but uh, for the most part, the material was really good, and for those that are really into the comic, um, they're really gonna like uh, some of the story that was told, um, how it was told. Um, there's a lot of cool Easter eggs for comic book nerds, um, cool references. It's kind of like they took two different comics and put them in uh, two different stories of the comics and put them in one movie, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I, I think it met my expectation of 8 out of 10. Uh, maybe if I watch it again, it may go up or may go down. Um, but just from first glance, from first viewing, um, that's kind of where I stand with it. Uh, what do you think? What's your, what's your score? I would say 8 out of 10. Um, I would say 7 out of 10. Um, 
good. I agree with 8 out of 10, so it exceeded my expectation a little bit. Best part was Wonder Woman. So, you heard it from, heard it from the lady. Wonder Woman was the best part. I, I can't lie. She was beast in this movie. Super beast. Um, yeah, she was probably one of the most exciting parts of the fight scene. Uh, but uh, Batman got it in. Ben Affleck is the best Batman that we've had. And I don't know where my car is at. Is it over here? Oh, it's... Uh, we're trying to find... We're trying to find my car. I think I lost it. But um, Batman was super dope in this movie. Super, super dope. Um, Batfleck is real. He exists. Um, he's my favorite Batman so far. So Superman... Uh, in this movie was actually really awesome as well. He had his his moments that um, from the comics that you're really gonna really enjoy. So I really like that aspect of it as well. Um, and uh, they did talk about a lot what went down in the previous Man of Steel movie. So um, it kind of answers a lot of questions with that. So if you had any concerns about his role in this movie, um, you guys are really gonna enjoy. Hopefully, you may or may not enjoy how they actually tackle those issues. So really interesting how they handle Superman's character. My final thoughts, uh, I really enjoyed it. If you guys have seen the movie, let me know in the comments down below. Um, please, please no spoilers um, for those that haven't watched the movie yet. Uh, be, um, be kind for those people. Um, but you know, definitely um, I'm gonna be doing a spoiler review of it as well. Just my thoughts on some things that could have maybe been done better. Um, or maybe some things I really, really liked uh, that I definitely want to talk to you guys about. But if you guys like this style of review, um, let me know in the comments down below and hit that thumbs up button. Show me some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're going to want to do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Or if you're on mobile, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Till next time. See you later. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you guys like this video and want to see more content like this, go ahead and click that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys want to chat with me on social media, go ahead and like my Facebook page, Absolutely Tech, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Adonis underscore ATMLV. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.